What's up guys? Today I'm going to be installing the DV8 uh, side steps. They're the OE Plus, so they come out a little bit um, like an actual side step instead of a rock slider, which comes up um, a little bit more at an angle to provide protection. Uh, so giving a review on my last DV8 um, A-arm install, I found that at full uh, turn or at full lock of the steering wheel, the inside section, if you have inner wheel weights, they actually contact the A-arms uh, skid over, you know, at least on this tire it did. Um, the other one had a thinner wheel weight, so it doesn't rub or contact. Uh, coincidentally, my wheel weight fell off this wheel. Don't notice it too much on the highway though, which is nice, uh, so I'm not going to have to worry about it. And it appears there's no more other troubles uh, with that. But for providing that review to DV8 on their website, um, they decided to uh, give me a little bit of a discount code um, and threw in a free little hat to say thanks. Uh, so for this install, we're going to need a socket, a 16 millimeter, a 13 millimeter socket, and then a 13 millimeter wrench. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This is what the DV8 slider looks like from back to front. Looks pretty good. Quality is great from DV8. Love their products. Packaged great. No issues. Alright, so first things first, we got to remove these uh, rock sliders that came with the Badlands. That don't really do a whole lot for steps. So there are three points here. This one, one down there, and then one behind me. And they're all kind of held in with two on each side of this 10 millimeters you got a bolt up top and then there's one right here this is actually probably the best angle it's a little tight for me so this is a 13 millimeter i haven't taken these off yet on the other side so i think they're 13 they look to be about that and then again one here 10 millimeter and one 10 millimeter right here um, and there's three of them so there this middle one and then one right over here Oop. here so I started with the 10 millimeters pull those off and then I went for the 13 millimeter big boys to pull the rail off I'm doing this by hand and then using an impact for the big ones. You don't need an impact for the big ones. They come off very easily, but it speeds up the process for me since I don't have a cordless ratchet. Uh, so if anybody wants to, you know, give me a nice Milwaukee Fuel M12 ratchet, I'd love you forever. But in the meantime, you get to watch me do this. And we do that for all three, and then um, we gently pull it off. Okay. It kind of self holds its place, so you can see everything's out. And then you just kind of need to lift and pull straight, and then just watch for that front hinge. And then from here, you just simply slide back. Okay, so this is a 13 millimeter. This whole assembly kind of just pops off. Um, there's only two of them, uh, middle and the back. And so we'll go ahead and take this off. And then we're ready to put the uh, side steps on. And for anybody who is curious, about putting on these rock sliders from Ford. Really, you just need to kind of have these holes in place. So you've got one up here, one here, one there, one there. And then again, on this side, you will have the two on the bottom there and then one up top. And I'll show what that looks like once it's off so you can get a better idea. 
Okay, so for anybody who does care, this is kind of what those brackets that the uh, sliders mount to, you can see. It goes up and in like this against the frame, and then that's where the two um, holes bolt and you have these tabs. So going underneath the Bronco, it pretty much looks like this where you have a hole here, there, and then the bolt hole up there. And then that's kind of where the sliders mount to here. Okay, so now comes the fun part. I gotta hold this up by myself and uh, put the M10 hardware in those three holes on top on the underside of the frame. So enjoy this next clip of me struggling to do just that. So these are body mounted, um, just like the original rock sliders on the Badlands. Um, I use this as a daily driver, so my mother-in-law has complained multiple times getting in and out of the Bronco. I didn't need some sort of steps. So with that, having kids and I don't off-road all the time. It seems like the steps make a lot more sense for me than rock sliders themselves. Um, so that's the reason I went with these. Okay, two are in. They say loosely put it in so you can kind of adjust the holes and move things around. Uh, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. But so far, so good. We have our pinch welds here and here. And we're gonna stick our bolts through. Um, I wanna say these are the M, if I was calling these M10s, these are M8s. I'm a dingo. So you might have to finagle it around a little bit. And it's really hard to film under here, but basically you get it through, you nut it down, you tighten everything up and you are good to go. All right, so this is what it looks like fully tightened down on the front at least. And it is rock solid so that's nice here's our fully installed side step looks great and rock solid all right so that's all you need to do to put on your dv8 oe plus uh, side steps i guess you can call them rock sliders but since they're against the body i don't know uh, if they'd hold up too too well to big hips um, maybe minor bumping you'd be okay um, but overall, pretty easy install, just a couple of bolts uh, and then just some nuts on the back and you're good to go. Pretty good. So my only real uh, observation here is uh, these little grippies are pretty nice. Uh, the backside, it kind of tapers off a little bit. Um, this, you can kind of just get your toes on, whereas the front, you can kind of get a whole foot. Uh, and here, you can sort of get most of it, but if you're getting in, um, it makes it a little bit difficult. But you do have the handle up here in the back uh, for the four door, and you can kind of use that to grip and go. Um, whereas the front, you don't necessarily need the handle uh, sitting up front. So overall, love these. They seem great. They're going to be great as a um, everyday driver kind of sidestep here uh, that allows you to get up 
We'll see. Uh, some people have said that it cuts down on uh, the spray from the tires, uh, so you might not need mud flaps. Uh, these are the IAG mud flaps. They fit perfectly. No issues uh, in the front. You don't really see the pinch weld unless if you, you know, really get under there and look. Um, overall, though, looks great. I think these would protect from some door dings, potentially. One thing to note is they are pretty up there. You really have to hike up. So um, if you're thinking of getting this uh, because you're older and it might help you get in, you might need something that kind of lowers um, your ground clearance to be able to get up in there uh, a little bit easier. So just something to note. Well, thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Uh, I'd like to bring you more and to get more channel exposure that helps um, make it all worthwhile for me. So thanks again.